The biggest fighting game tournament of the year is finally back around. Yes, I'm talking about EVO, and with that being said, on its list this year is Dragon Ball Fighters, a game that was actually speculated to not be on the list this year for whatever reason, being as it's so popular and has been for as long as it has been. But the reason I'm talking about this today is because it's a good thing. Fighters being on the EVO list means a possibility, take this with a grain of salt, of more new content on the horizon. Honestly, all I'm hoping for personally at this point is literally a PS5 upgrade for the game that includes all DLC because to me that would end this game off perfectly and maybe lead us into the next one whereas more dlc would kind of hinder the game a little bit more from getting rollback netcode in my personal opinion to me the only way we're gonna get rollback is if we finally get that second game and i'm all here for that and of course my thought process behind it is every evo we've gotten an announcement barring 2020 and 2021 of course 2020 evo being canceled 2021 evo being online which is terrible but for the most part we got cooler announced during the the first evo for dragon ball fighters i'm pretty sure and then of course after that we got gogeta and janimba announcement so i just feel like there could be some validity there hopefully but we're just gonna have to wait and see it's possible but that's it, pretty much just a short little video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If we do get some announcements, what do you hope to be the next big thing for Dragon Ball Fighters? More DLC, new season, or the next game? Let me know. That's all I got for y'all. Peace out.